this poodle on the top. My hair is looking a mess. That's what happens when I wash it and I don't put nothing up in it. All right. Hey, what's goody? It's your boy Onags. Welcome back to another video. Yep, another one. All right. As you read from the title, or you already know, <laughs> like you already know, um, I got a package from Physicians Formula. Look at this. I wasn't going to film anything, but like when I got this package, I said, oh, I got to play with these products because I have played with a couple of them that I purchased before, which right here, these two products um, from their new collection. And it was in a test and newness video. But yeah, we're going to play around with some more stuff. You know, I'm excited. Even though I feel like I just woke up. That's <laughs> why I got that caffeine to, you know. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. Let's get it. Lego. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to play with a lot of these products. We're going to go through all of them and, you know, try to swatch things and, you know, just show you guys what's new from Physicians Formula. So, yes, big shout out to them for sending me over this PR package. I always appreciate it when I get PR. Very thankful because I'm very small. You know what I mean? Well, I'm big in size, but small in, in social media. <laughs> so they have two collections that they came out with, which uh, the first one is the Butter Glow collection. And that has two pressed powders, a liquid bronzer, a liquid highlighter, and um, six concealers that are very, uh, what is the word? Flexible. They're very full coverage, but flexible. <laughs> so yeah, like I said before, we have two of the pressed powders. One is called Natural Glow, and the other one is Translucent Glow. We have these two. We have the Butter Glow uh, Liquid Bronzer and Liquid Highlighter. Uh, just says Bronze and Glow. Then we have six concealers that go from uh, fair to light, light to medium, medium to tan, tan to deep, deep to rich, and then rich. So yeah, from light shade all the way to this deep shade. Yeah, I mean for six shades, like they're you know they're. They're actually really like a good shade range if you look at all the shades, you know what I mean? So, and then their next collection, well, their recent collection is the Mineral Roy, the Mineral Wear Diamond Collection. And that consists of a setting spray, a clear gloss, and three cream. Well, it says uh, lip cream lipsticks that they're something so yeah, yeah the setting spray right here as well as the clear gloss and then the three cream lipsticks yeah so let's play all right i started with a little bit of the nyx freezy primer listen my skin has been going through it uh very sensitive lately I love to go in with this type of primer when I want something that is just like a hydrating primer um, when I skip out on moisturizer. So something that works like in two ways, you know, that primes and moisturizes. But while the primer is priming, I want to use this diamond gloss. So this is one of their new products. I like the little diamond on top. That's pretty cool. I saw this in the store. I was going to pick it up and I was like, you know what? I ended up going with the liquid bronzer and the uh, concealer. Oh, there's the applicator. He's chunky, but not real chunky. Okay, it's like a... Okay, it's like a thicker type of gloss. So yeah, you just want to be... I just want to let you know, just in case you're thinking about getting this and uh, you don't like a thicker gloss. 
I end up doing what I end up doing with a thicker gloss. I just use less, you know. Yeah, kind of using it like a lip oil in a way, you know. So yeah, I went. I told you guys the shades that they have. I'm gonna use the tan to deep. See if I can put this all over, and then I'm gonna go in with the other one that I have, which is the medium to deep, medium to tan, and like conceal. You know what I mean? So yeah, when I tried this, it is full coverage. So I'm gonna try to go in very lightly. That was kind of my recommendation when I used it before, was to go in, you know, lightly if you want. Uh, just going with less product, basically. And what I like about it, it has the sponge, even though I don't use it. I, I like to look at it. Yeah, so, okay. We're gonna go in with these two shades. So it does have that, that smell, that, that Physician's Formula smell, you know, I don't know, shea butter, cocoa butter, something like that. So let's see what I can do with this. Yeah, a lot comes out on the brush. Like, this is my first time using this shade. This is the A24 brush, um, Morphe and Ariel. I love that glow that it gives the skin. It's a beautiful, like, natural glow. It is more like a medium to full. You saw I just used the one... Like, I went in one time into the uh, product. It is so beautiful. The consistency of it. Like, wow. Now I'm going to go in with the medium to tan shade that I originally had. Um, you know, all these extra products that I'm, I'll be having, like, that I'm not going to use. I'm gonna, I always, like, give to my friends and family and stuff. So nothing goes to waste. All right, I'm going with a lot. You see, it's a very liquidy, but it's like a thick liquid. You know what I mean? Oh, so beautiful though. Like, it's a beautiful glow to the skin. I'm gonna use this little Morphe M173 a brush. Beautiful. Damn, I should have did my brows first. I'm very heavy handed. So thank God I don't have to do anybody else's makeup. If I had to, I'd be like, listen, I'm a man, I'm heavy handed, I'm big, you know what I mean? Like, I gotta get something under these eyes because I don't be sleeping. To hide all the stress. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Then what I do is I go back in with the brush that I use for foundation. To blend the two, you know. Ooh, something's going on with my skin. I don't know. What is that? Hmm. All right, next I want to go in with some of the Butter Glow Bronzer, the liquid bronzer. Like I said, I have my own one. <sighs> this is an interesting uh, product. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. I guess to give it the glow. Um, all right, let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> let's go on with this Moda complexion brush. Put some on the back of my hand. 
that's kind of how it looks. And then just go in. I'm not a big fan of this liquid bronzer. I'm just going to be real with y'all because it has shimmer in it. Um, and I'm like, who, this doesn't, like, what's, what I want to say, the shade of it, which is nice, it just doesn't work for a lot of people. You know, it's, it's not, I don't think it's buildable. Like, in the summertime, I don't think I would be able to even use this. I do like the shade of it, though. I guess the undertone of it. You know, scope out a little bit. I just like a little bit around here too, you know? Like the inner corners. There you go. Boop. So yeah, it's not my favorite product, but some people can make it work, you know? I guess we're in a day of age that you can make things work. So yeah, I don't really recommend it if you're deeper than me, like tan and deeper, you know? Oh, the eye cream. Whatever eye cream that I... The eye cream that I used earlier, it's not working well under this makeup. That's one thing I know. Because I've used this uh, concealer before and it was really good. It's that eye cream that I used. I know it for sure. But we keep on going. We make it work. All right. I want to go in with the liquid highlighter. I swatched this. And I was blown away. Like, blown away. Here's the packaging. It looks just like the um the bronzer. They should have made a blush, too. Ugh, a liquid blush with this? What? Mm. Kind of looks like a champagne shade. Like a pink champagne shade. Is a Sephora foundation brush. Oh, look at that. I put this on and didn't even put blush on. Because <laughs> it's hard to put liquid, like, I don't know. Anyway, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. This is going to work really nice if I have nothing on. Like, I'm just going to put on liquid um, highlighter, mascara, uh, uh, a lip balm, you know what I mean? A little bit of blush and out the door. All right, I'm using the two new powders from Drawer Cosmetics. Uh, yeah, the one is the blurring powder and the other one is setting and sculpting. So I'm gonna use the blurring, which is pink under the eyes and the sculpt one, the rest of the face. So I'm using the pink powder under the eyes with an Alamar Cosmetics brightening brush. I'm using the sculpting powder with the Moda powder brush. So pretty. Uh, you can still see some of the highlight. It's a beautiful highlight. Like it's a beautiful highlight. I want to go in with some blush from Benefit. I have the Willa and the Butterfly 
box blushes. I have all of them actually, but these are the two that I've been loving. I mean, at this one, I've been obsessed with. This is the Soft Neutral Rose Blush. But I've been going in with the other one as well. Butterfly. Butterfly. And what I've been doing with this one. i just been... Where's the brush? This is that other... That should, I use the Alamar Complexion Brush. Complexion Brush, yeah. And now I'm going to go in with one of the Morphe A22 Brush. I didn't like this brush before, but I learned how to use it actually picks up powder very well and what i do with this is um i've been ombre the uh the blush with it go to melt them together you know uh, you know what I mean I'm bringing the blushes it's so pretty now I want to use one of the pressed powders there's basically a radiance boosting glow all over the face I'm gonna use the translucent glow and I really like this packaging that they came out with. Um, I remember they came out with, I mean, they have their traditional packaging. Uh, where are you? Right here, traditional packaging. Uh, a little bulky. So I'm excited that they started doing these thinner compacts. But yeah, look at that. It looks like a baked swirl type of product. Butter Glow Pressed Powder. Achieve a natural looking all over lit from within glow while setting your makeup with the help of this universally flattering, long wearing, multi use radiance boosting pressed powder. Okay, so you can set your makeup with it. Actually, no. I'm going to set the bronzer first. This has been my go-to bronzer brush. This is the A58 brush, the Ariel, ooh, the Ariel collaboration. So yeah, I've been loving this brush. It's very precise. Oh, it works beautifully with that uh, with that bronzer. I love this brush so much. I'm thinking for the Ulta sale, getting a set, another set. But I kind of been on hold with Morphe. So I'm like, do I really want that or? I love it. Like I, I, I'm like I really love it. Gloss is still popping. You know it's still popping. Okay, now we're to go in with oh the all over press powder. So now I have that JH01 brush. We're gonna go into this press powder. Put it all over. Okay, yeah. Yeah, a nice little lit from within glow. On camera, it just still looks the same, but in person? Mm. You can still see the highlighter. Okay, I told you it's beautiful. It's beautiful, that highlighter. I want to use some of their setting spray, long lasting setting spray. It says Shake Me. Let's see how it sprays. 
Mm, okay. No smell to it. A decent sprayer. It's a little bit more than a mist, but lighter than a spritz. If you know what that means. Okay, yeah. Okay. I could get down with it. I could get down with it. Okay. I want to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Glow Highlighter and Pillow Talk. Since I already have something down, I feel like maybe this could, maybe that can help it out a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> and nothing like putting highlighter on and it's still looking the same. I'm using the Kosas Airbrow for my um, brows. This is just their clear, like translucent or whatever. Wow. My brows are actually looking like sister and brother, not distant cousins, you know. I almost decluttered this brow product from Kosas because I didn't know how to use it right. I mean, my brows kept looking toe up when I used it, so. It's good to see that I can make it work, you know? So I wanna go in with the Diamond Mascara, the Mineral Wear Mascara from Physicians Formula. I've used this before on my channel. Yeah, the Diamond Mascara, it's okay. It, it, it was nicer when I first got it. I've had it for like a few months. Um, It's drying out now. I loved the butter one. Uh, I forgot what it was called, the butter, I don't know. Now we have these three cream lipsticks. I thought they were gonna be like creamy lipsticks that just stay creamy, but they dry down. Like they're a cream to like, like liquid lipstick. It's very interesting. I don't wanna use all of them cause I know I'm not gonna keep all of them cause I know now that they are, that they do dry down and they're comfortable because I tried one of them. Um, and uh, it's transfer proof. It doesn't transfer. Like, it stays locked down. I'm gonna use this taupe shade. They have taupe, topaz taupe, rose quartz, and majestic mob. Yeah, so the three shades. Which is the right one? Topaz taupe, yeah. Applicators like a V. Yeah, let's throw it on real quick. That's how it looks. I like the color. I'm just, I like how it feels when it dries down. Sorry, I don't want it to mess up. So, yeah, like, I'll be right back. So, this is what the lipstick looks like. I just do not like liquid lipsticks. So, but this color is beautiful, it's comfortable. Oh, <laughs> I went on the uh, the swatch. Not in there. Boom. I told you it's transfer proof. It is. It lasts. Like, all right, so I'm finished. This is the final look. What do y'all think? You know, I'm feeling it. Of course. Of course. I want to change the lip. But besides that, like, I'm feeling it. You know what I mean? Let's go through the products really quickly. The Diamond Gloss, Clear Gloss. It is a clear gloss. Packaging is so cute. I love the packaging. Thicker type of um, gloss texture. Uh, not like a lip oil or anything like that. It's just a thicker consistency. So if you don't care for that, you might not care for this. But if you like a thicker gloss, yeah, this is for you. Has no scent. Yeah. The Butter Glow Concealers, full coverage. A little bit goes a long way, easy to blend out. Has a nice natural glow, like finish to it, like a natural finish. Um, yeah, I like the shades they have. They work really well. Like you could, the shades are very versatile. So like you can use it for a bronzer or, you know, to highlight areas, conceal, foundation as I'm using. The issue with my under eye over here is because of the eye cream. I know it because I just started using this eye cream, which that's another story for another day. 
The liquid bronzer, I'm not a big fan because I don't think a lot of people can use the shade. It's not buildable. It has shimmer in it. Um, I think glitter, to be honest with you. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to use. It smells good. It's just, I, I, they should have came out with a deeper shade. And then you could use a little bit of it and blend it out if you wanted to use it very light. I do like the undertone of it. Yeah, but I did set it with a powder uh, bronzer there. Coffee. Yeah, so like if you're medium, it's okay. Lower than that, you'll be fine. But deeper than that, no. The highlighter is beautiful. Like there's a stunning shade. I'm not sure if multiple people can use it, but a good amount of people could use it. Uh, easy to blend out. A beautiful shade. It has like a translucent base to it. So a lot of people would be able to use it. You know what I mean? Um, and liquid highlighters. I know a lot of people struggle with it. Yeah, I just use some sort of like fluffy type of spongy type of brush basically to use it. But it's beautiful. I think so. Okay, the Butter Glow Translucent Glow Pressed Powder. A nice finish to it. I I'm going to try to set my skin, set my makeup with it next time. But yeah, it definitely has a translucentness to it. It is very thin. It feels like baked. It has, no, it doesn't have no smell to it. I'm so excited about uh, using this. It's very thin, the formula. The, the powder is very thin. Um, yeah, so far, it's beautiful to dust all over the face. Let's see when it's time to, like, set makeup, like concealers and foundation and stuff like that. Let's see what it's giving then, you know what I mean? The cream lipsticks. Yeah, the Mineral Wear Diamond Last Lip Cream. Um, packaging is so cute and dope. Um, the shade is beautiful. And it's a cream lipstick that dries down. You know what I mean? So, and it lasts pretty long. Like, I ate with it earlier. I had, I was sipping a drink. Like, it didn't get on the straw or anything. <laughs> You know, it's definitely one that lasts pretty long. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's comfortable. Yeah, it dries down, transfer proof. I wish there was just like a cream lipstick, like like a bullet lipstick type of, you know, consistency. But yeah, it's fine. I think I only have this left, the setting spray. Uh, yeah, it definitely has something in it. You can see it in the bottom. That's why you have to like stir it, you know, shake it. But once you shake it, it you know, it... Uh, mixes together and, and i like the mist it's a nice mist i like the the um yeah it has no smell to it it feels good on the face i don't know about makeup lasting or anything like that i won't know yet i'll try to do a little check-in later um yeah i like it so far okay i'm at work i just wanted to do a quick check-in to show you guys how everything is looking I've been, mean, you know, working, busting my ass. So I'm sweating all the time. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. It's nice sweaty. I look okay. It's been six hours, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna definitely go because I got to go. So yeah, definitely let me know what you think about any of these products. Have you played with any of these products, especially the Physicians Formula? Um, I've always been a fan of Physician Formula. I really enjoy their products. They work well for me. Uh, and they're easy to purchase. I can find them right up the street in the, you know what I mean? In the pharmacy. So it's so easy to buy their stuff. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Definitely rate the video, good or bad. Depends on what you think. And if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. <laughs> okay, I got to go. Deuces.